Hello friends, in the last video I have shown you the plate for loop impedance testing. Now I am going to perform that test in a different way. Because what happens in usually our big loads like ACs are connected with stabilizers. When the stabilizers comes in the picture, what is the impact of that for loop impedance going? I would like to show that thing in my experiment. Let's see. Now see, I have connected my meter face and neutral to my one of the socket. You can see the frequency is 50.1 Hz and the voltage is 243.1 varying up to 3, 43.323 volt. Okay. Now I am going to perform that for loop impedance test. I have pressed you can note it 0.71 ohm is the for loop impedance of that circuit now let's see what happens when i connect it to some stabilizer let's see i am using one of the stabilizers to see the impact of that for loop impedance you can see here again a volt our frequency is 51.1 and voltage 238 it, it is varying now i am going to perform the same test i performed for loop impedance between phase and neutral you can note it down it is now 2.54 this is the impact of using stabilizer in our circuit thank you thank you everyone You must have noticed that we performed the experiment with stabilizer and without stabilizer. When there was no stabilizer in the circuits, the value was 0.71 ohm for that for loop impedance. The moment I inserted that stabilizer, it rises to 2.54. That means it is approximately 3 to 4 times more than what I, what I achieved without stabilizer. If you design your circuit for the safety point of view, considering without considering that stabilizer, it will definitely create error and your impedance will be much much higher than what you have designed and it, the possibility is that your protective circuit may or may not operate. Think about it. Thank you sir. Thank you everyone.